when you focus on the breath, you really want to care about what's happening. This is one of the big problems in modern life, is people don't care. They go through the motions, they multitask just so they can get the job passed, um, moved on to the next person. And as a result, nothing really gets well done. You really have to care about something to do it well. So care about the state of your mind. And by extension, you want to care about your breath, because the breath is where you're going to be staying for a long time as you meditate. So you want to put a lot of effort into being observant, being very sensitive, and caring about what happens. It's not just, okay, let's put in a few hours of meditation today and that'll be it. We take care of that and move on to the next thing. You really want to pay a lot of attention to what you're doing. I was a little disturbed a while back to read people people saying that they don't really care whether the Buddha said something or whether he didn't say something. As long as they like it, then it's dharma. Um, of course, not caring about what the Buddha said translates into not really caring about what's going to be good for you and what's not. You really want to look into these things. You want to take it seriously that the mind is suffering. And you've got some people who really know what they're talking about, and you've got a lot of people who don't know what they're talking about, and so you've got to sort them out. A lot of people going around putting words in the Buddha's mouth. He said that was slander. That's a pretty heavy comment that he made. Because when counterfeit dharma gets spread around, then the true dharma just becomes one more counterfeit as far as everybody else is concerned. And so when it comes to the problem of the mind suffering, you really do want to care. You want to look into things. Be careful about who you listen to, be careful about what you do, careful about who you hang around. And if you can't find anybody else outside that you really trust, okay, we'll just really be very careful about how you look here at the breath, how you take care of your mind right here in the present moment. Because it has consequences that spread out in lots of directions. So care about this breath. Care about this breath. Each breath as it comes in and goes out, give it a lot of care. Because it's only with this element of what the Buddha called jitta, is really being intent about what you're doing. That's the only way you're going to be able to succeed in the meditation. It's the only way that it's really going to make a difference in your life.